Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I painted a local beauty spot, Robinson's Preserve in southwest Florida, Bradenton. It's just gorgeous there. We take the dogs for a walk sometimes when it's not too hot and we see all kinds of things, um, lovely uh, views and seabirds and um, you can climb the tower uh, for an extra long view. If you enjoy the video, please help the algorithm find me by giving me a thumbs up. Um, that sorts me out from the thousands uploaded every day. And thanks for watching. So here we go. I've transferred my sketch to a 9 by 12 canvas panel and I've used acrylic pen to, paint, uh, to pick out the main elements of the painting. And it's just an experiment. I don't usually do this, but um, I do sometimes lose those elements, so I thought this might be a good way to preserve them. My palette, titanium white, cad yellow light, raw sienna, raw umber, French ultramarine blue, sap green, and alizarin crimson. Sorry about the noise of the air conditioner, but the air handler is inside my house. Um, I'm mixing titanium white with French ultramarine blue, and I'm going to work on the sky and the sea. I'm just putting a very thin uh, layer on. Quite often I prepare my canvas by um, painting it all blue, but I forgot to do that this time, so I'm just going to work around. This things. is the Robinson Preserve, and it's so beautiful. There are so many um, different seabirds and wildlife in there. No alligators, um, but it's like a salty water. Um, I think it's brackish more than salty, but um, my daughter takes her kayak in there and she's never seen any alligators <clears throat> and was told by a ranger that there are none. But hey, this is Florida, so watch out. Okay, so I'm putting um, Cad Yellow Light in with my sap green and um, making a sort of nice mid tony green. And um, I'm going to use a bristle brush, a very old bristle brush. And I'm going to use that to dot in my greens over here. This is like a mixture of mangoes and other greenery that I have no idea what it is. Um, I'm sure somebody else would be able to tell you but I couldn't. I'm adding a little ultramarine blue. Putting my brush and I'm going to add more yellow. To put in some lights. I'm mixing some white with some raw sienna and a little touch of yellow. A little more white. And I'm just going to swipe in this path. Actually, I think that's a white path. 
but we'll start off with this colour and then make it whiter. I've got some more umber and more sienna and a little sap green and I'm making this sort of brownish green and I'm going to use um, I'm going to use an old fan brush an old bristle fan brush it's really kind of scrubby probably put more white in with that white makes it opaque I'll put it on this side too a lot of grasses and wild plants. Don't ask me what they are. At some point I'll have to find a book and find out what some of them are because they're quite interesting looking. Okay, so I'm going to make this more white now. It's a white shell path. I know I'm using the wrong brush, probably. I use any brush that I happen to hold on to. I'm hands. using acrylic paint, so um, I don't want to take too long and have everything dry up on me, but I do need um, time to sort of stand back and decide what's going on because that is just the way I paint and um, I'm going to dampen my brush and refine that a little bit going to darken it up in here just using French ultramarine it's mostly sort of scrub and um, I add French ultramarine to raw amber and that gives me good, really dark darks. I don't use black because I find it really too dark and kind of unnatural looking. drag it down and I'm 
going to do the same on this side. Something really dark. Drag it down a little bit. I'm going to like make a shadow. French ultramarine and some titanium white. Tiny touch of yellow. And I'm going to paint my C and I should have done that before. I have to say I quite often do things in the wrong order. But there's um, no problem with that because you can just wipe things off and start over, um, paint over, water mixable oils and acrylics are both really great mediums for my kind of painting, I would say. I always try and keep my horizon line dead straight. If it goes bumpy or wavy, then the picture is gone because it will make it look so odd. Um, your eye will see it as um, incorrect and it will throw the whole picture off. And I'm going to use it to put in this twiggy tree thing. Not sure what it is again. Oh, the air conditioning is on again. Sorry, there's nothing I can do. It's 90 degrees out there. Okay, so I'm going to put some primary blue on my palette, which to my mind is more like a Taylor blue, but it will sort of lift things up a little bit. We'll see how it goes. It's all an experiment in my mind. Okay, so here we go. nice thing about acrylics, if you mess something up, you can always go in and fix it. And I'm going to put a line of white on the horizon. I'm 
might use my wicket to do that actually. And I'm going to put a little of that bright blue up here. I'm going to put some white underneath, blend it in. And I think that makes things pop a little bit. I'm going to add a little in the water here. See, I think that looks more lively already. I'm going to say that we have a bunch of uh, white pelicans here. So I don't like to get too detailed. They have lovely orange beaks. So I'm going to put a suggestion of beaks. And um, I really don't think I'm going to get any more detail than that. going to have a couple in the sky. That's it, they're coming into land with the group. Okay, I think it's coming along. There are definitely things to do, like put in some more birds. And I'm going to put them going in that direction. They were around here somewhere when I drew them in. I'm going to say that the light is coming from this direction using raw amber and blue. I'm just going to put in a sort of shape.
indicating a shadow. And I'm going to use some more amber and I'm going to define this edge of the path. And I'm going to um, use my rigger and I'm going to say these trees are throwing a shadow. And I might be doing this too soon. have to go in and scrub in a little more white on this path because it is a, like a white shell path. So I've mixed a little sap green, a little raw umber, and some white, titanium white. And I'm going to work a little more on this. try and make it look a little more scrubby. Adding some yellow and some white to that, and I'm going to just sort of add a, a light top. using my rigger again and I'm going to sort of just put in some strokes which I immediately smudge out I think that makes it look a little more watery. I'm going to do um, a line along here of white. put in a little shadow using just raw amber.
got some French ultramarine blue and sap green with a touch of raw umber in it and I'm just going to sort of suggest some plants here and there maybe some sandy sort of scuzzy patches That looks pretty scrubby. And um, I'm going to work on this uh, tower from which you get a beautiful view. So I've heard, but honestly, I haven't climbed the tower. I'm going to paint um, the bars on the uh, the boardwalk, but I have to get in really close and all you'd see is my nose, so I'm going to do that and then show you. And I'm also going to paint the tower. I'm using my rigger and raw umber. That might be the best I can do for now. I'm going to sit with it for a while like I usually do because um, I just need time to contemplate and figure out whether that's all I want to do with it. I I sort of did the bridge but I'm not thrilled with that. It's um, the uh, boardwalk which runs through the preserve and in the distance I wasn't sure whether from this point you could see the Skyway Bridge. I couldn't remember so I put in a suggestion of the skyway but then I put in a line underneath it of shadow and now I think it looks more like a um, container ship so it could be that too I'm not sure what that is to be honest but I'm pleased with the way the scrubbiness turned out and I think outlining the um, elements with acrylic pen actually worked for me because I was able to um, 
put in all of those. It gave me a foundation at least. And I can't see much else that I would do. So I think I might leave it there. I decided not to do anything else to this picture. I enjoyed painting it and I think there are plenty more pictures to be painted from uh, Robinson's Preserve here in Southwest Florida. I hope you enjoyed the video, especially if you managed to make it this far. And thanks for watching and please give me a thumbs up and help that algorithm find me. See you next time.